All right, with all the fire bans in place in Washington, I thought I'd go over the fire pits that I normally have used and would recommend for the general public to be using. We're gonna go over three different types of fire pits, the Ignic, the tripod fire torch, and your general round ring uh, fire pit. Currently, the three fire pits retail prices are for the Ignic Deluxe that we'll be featuring and looking at is $299. The tripod fire torch is $189, and the ring fire pit will retail for $150 give or take. Now those prices do go up and down depending on Amazon, but I'll have them all linked in the description below. Now going over the specs for every single fire pit, we're going to start with the Ignic. The Ignic starts off at, it is a 12 by 6 by 7.5 at 13.8 pounds, 38,000 BTU, and a burn time max flame of 2.4 hours. If you do get the Elite version, which is actually a little bit less in price, that will actually burn to 50,000 and BTUs and only weighs 9.2 pounds but will not have the grease trap and won't let you actually cook on top of it. So you will be able to do s'mores but that's probably it. The Ignit comes with a fire can itself, grease trap for the deluxe, a removable grill insert, control temperature knob and for an additional $24.95 you can get fire rocks which will maintain your heat and dissipate more. For the tripod torch it is a 10 by 8 by three tall when rolled up in a very small package itself. What comes in the bag is a vertical burner, three legs with a built-in socket, three shields that you can um, adjust for the wind breaks or use as a cooktop, three ground stakes, an eight foot long stainless steel braided regulated hose, and a canvas roll top bag. With a standard 20 pound tank, it runs for about 10 to 15 hours of burning. And when you're on max, which is a massive flame, uh, it'll run for about three to four hours. Comes with a lifetime warranty on the device itself with a 90 day uh, warranty for the hose. Your traditional fire pit is a 25 by 25 by 12 tall. It does come with a grill and burns at 58,000 BTU. It's got foldable legs for easy transport and it comes with lava rocks. Also comes with a tank for your propane tank holder. So some of the pros of the Ignic itself, uh, you're able to cook directly on the top of the Ignic. It does have a grill that goes right on top. And you do need the deluxe version to be able to cook on the Ignic itself because it has that grease trap. Now the other Ignics out there, you cannot cook on uh, just because if the stuff falls in, you're going to gunk up the burner and it's going to mess up the system. One of the great things is you do not have to carry pans uh, when cooking on the Ignic because it has the grill itself. But if you did want to cook soups or stews, you would want to get a pot so that way you can cook right on top of it. Another great feature is that you can fold it up and it folds up to the size of an ammo can case. So that way it's very easy to store inside your vehicle and transport when you want to go from one campsite to another. It's got a grease trap that's very easy to clean. Pull it right out, wipe it down, dump it in your trash can. And the last pro is that it, out of all of them, it looks the nicest and it is a beautiful piece of craftsmanship on the the ammo can itself. Pros for the tripod torch, it is very compact. It rolls up into something really small itself and it almost takes up no space at all and very easy to break down. You can cook on the tripod torch itself when you put the three heat shields on, but you will need to have your pots and pans, which is unfortunate that you have to bring that with it. But for the space saving itself, it makes up for the, for the pots and pans. It's got the best flame for heat and warmness out of all three of the fire pits. So if you're just looking for something to keep you warm, that's the one that I would go with. It's lightweight, cleans up in seconds, and you can just throw it under your seat and go. The pros for the traditional fire pit are as followed. It comes with a grill. You will need pots and pans. It's the cheapest out of all three of the fire pits itself, and it lights on its own, so you do not need to carry a lighter. With the tripod torch and the Ignite, you will need 
need a lighter to initiate the spark to start the fire. Now for the cons, the Ignic does not heat great. If you're using the Ignic as a fire source to keep you warm, it's not the best option. It's probably the weakest out of all three that I have gone over. It also eats through a ton of propane extremely fast from what I've noticed. Uh, you will need a 20 pound propane tank just to be able to, to heat for a couple hours every single night when you're out there for like a weekend. The price is another thing. It's the most expensive out of all three that we're showcasing today at almost $300. Now they have a cheaper budget option, but that's still running close to $200, I believe. So it's the most premium built and it's very nice and heavy duty when you feel it but it also for a price point it's the most expensive and last you will need a lighter to actually light the, the ignic uh, to catch on fire if you're not carrying a lighter with you and you accidentally forget it that could be an issue the tripod torch you have to bring pots and pans which is an issue in itself if you're looking at that as your cooking top for your fire pit as well it runs through propane very quickly so it does eat through your propane again and it's like the Ignite, you have about three days worth if you're only using for a couple hours. But if you're also using for eating, you have to kind of be cognizant on what you're doing. If you have it on max flame, you're only gonna have one night if you keep it for the full four hours. So that could be an issue if that's what you're trying to get at. The steel braided line and regulator hose that's plastic that it comes with, it is a little flimsy, so it can be an issue. And I feel like it does have to be replaced periodically. That's probably why they have a 90 day warranty for that that piece itself and you need a lighter to light the, the tripod torch. Your traditional fire pit, you do not have a grease trap so you cannot cook on top directly with the grill. You will need to use pots and pans which is the biggest con for me as far as space savings. The actual fire pit itself is very large and bulky at almost two feet wide and one foot tall and then with pots and pans as well, it's gonna take a lot of real estate out of your rig. So for me, that's the biggest issue because I'm always trying to be cognizant on making things smaller or lighter to carry on my trips. I, I wanna get away from carrying all the bulk and, and the crap. So realistically, this would probably be the one that I did start with, but I started leaning towards the other two brands. It does heat up okay, but it's not great. It's better than the Ignite as far as your heating source itself, but it's not because the traditional is bigger, that's why you're getting more heat and with the lava rocks. And if you're using the Ignite, if you're using like for one or two people, that's it should be suffice. But the fact that if you have more people with kids, you're gonna want something bigger. So that traditional will be the one to look at. So which one is for you? Well, it really does matter. For me personally, if I'm going and in my only cooking source and I want some type of heat source, I'm gonna bring the Ignic just because it's a lot smaller. I only need to bring one pot if I wanna make soup or stew. But usually we're grilling things on top of the grill itself. So I would go with the Ignic itself. I've used the Ignic multiple times. It works fantastic for me and my family. But if I'm going just for a heating source and I'm not using it for cooking, because I do have a pit boss that I have in my car that I made mainly cook with and I have a one top burner stove already, I would probably stick with the tripod torch just because of the fact that I really only need that flame to heat the area and I'm never really ever going to cook. The only thing I'm gonna use that tripod torch for is maybe s'mores, which works fantastically fine. So for me personally, I would stick with the tripod torch out of all three, but it really comes down to what works for you. I've used all three. They're all great, but they all have differences. And for me, that fire pit is just too large for me to go with nowadays with bringing all that extra gear. If you want the versatility with everything, Ignic, fire itself, I would go with the tripod torch. Let me know what works for you. What do you use when you're out there or something that I didn't mention? I'd love to know. Please put it in the comments and so we can discuss further. And if you did enjoy this video and you reached the the end please smash that like button subscribe comment and until next time